Okay, hi there everyone, I'm Carl at Escape Trailer and today I want to talk to you about cooktops and drop-in cooktops more specifically. So this video is really targeted toward our customers who have the SDS2, the Suburban STS2 drop-in cooktop. This is the standard that we applied into our trailers for, for quite some time. Kind of looks like this. All right, quick look. Now you, if you have one, then you know exactly what it looks like. Okay, I'm gonna quickly move on. The standard that we have now is the Dometic. We use the Dometic. Again, similar glass cooktop on it, removable, removable grate on the top. Control knobs are in their own little well, weld area there. So nice little two burner cooked up and more surface area for it to use than what was on the, the Suburban SDS2. Also the glass top on this is replaceable, it's not replaceable on the Suburban SDS2, a couple of reasons, that's a couple of key reasons why I moved over to the Dometic unit. Um, Per our customer requests over the last couple of years, I secured and are secured this three burner cooktop from Mino. A lot of people are asking, hey, can I have a three burner drop in rather than having to purchase the oven? So this is a marine grade three burner cooktop, and it's got a nice removable grate on the top. It also comes with a glass top. We don't supply the glass top on this. We like the way it looks just clean like this, but the glass top is separately mounted off the rear. You can purchase that yourself from Mino or from one of, their, one of their dealers. Okay, so we have three different cooktops. This we no longer provide, and this is the standard for us going forward in the future with this being the option. Another little difference between these, these two are powered from the 12 volt power supply in your trailer, that's for the ignition. This one has its own battery source that would need to be mounted down underneath the, uh, the cabinet. And we've sold quite a few of these to our customers all ready. Now, the key challenge, if you, do, if you look at this and you say, hey, I'm interested in moving away from the SDS2, I like the cooking surface area and the configuration of the Dometic or of the Eno, you know, the key question is, will it fit into the countertop in your trailer? So the answer is it might and it might not. And you may have to do a little bit of work to make it, to make it work. I'm going to quickly look at the Suburban. The Suburban on the underside has these He's got a 45 degree corners on it. So the cutout looks a little bit like this in your countertop. So this will be the hole, the space inside. Okay, and then it mounts, it's sort of tension mounted underneath from, from these tabs that are in place. So that's how, that's what this looks, looks like on the other side. And this is what you're changing. So in order to square the corners off on this, we've done a quick video on it. Now Harrison will show it at some point in this video. We'll show a video of where we take our Suburban cutout, clean it up and drop the Dometic unit into its place. So you'll notice on the on the countertop when you when you pull this out your countertop will have these 45-ish degree degree angles and that's because the Suburban SDS2 had a slightly different body on it uh, for how it recessed in and the Dometic is more uh, rectangular. That's right, it's more rectangular. So what I've done is I've taken a thick piece of uh, masking tape and I've squared off with the lines that are already in the countertop. So this does two things. This provides me a, a square edge um, to cut out um, and it also helps with uh, not having the Arborite chip when you're cutting it out because that's the last thing you want. So I've got it all squared out, taped off. So now I'm gonna take a jigsaw and I'm gonna cut out those corners. So now we got your countertop all cut out. It's nice and square in there. And now we'll be able to drop in the new cooktop. We'll do a dry fit on there. And there's your new, your new cooktop. Now, key question is, is everything going to fit? On the face of it, they don't fit. However, in practice, there's a little bit more slop or tolerance in these units. That means they might well fit for you. The Suburban SDS2, these are millimeters, so you may have to get on a converter to convert them to inches, but I think it's pretty precise, and millimeters is a better way to be, to be precise. 466 by 358, that is what the cutout should be for your Suburban, albeit you have these, piece, these corners in there. The Dometic unit is 455 by 350, so in theory it sits right inside this, and it's too 
small in theory. In practice, it might be slightly different. The Eno 3 burner runs 450 by 370, which means it fits inside on this dimension, but it's bigger on this dimension, so you'd have some cutout work to do. In our experience, there seems to be enough, I'm gonna call it slop or tolerance is the, the engineering word, on this within the fitment on the underside that um, for the most part on the Suburbans, you can just cut out the corners and then drop the Dometic in place. But here's the challenge. Your trailer might be different. So before you go ahead and put anything in, you need to determine, is it going to fit? I would pop the Suburban, I would measure it all out, and then I would make a decision about whether or not I wanted to do the rework that was required to drop the Dometic or the Eno in place. Worst case, what you have to do is put some fillers in side the opening, and that might be you know up to a half inch piece of, of lumber or something that's gotta go in on either side that enables you then to push this down over the top or screw in on the Dometic. The Dometic has a couple of screws right here in the centers, in the center of it, and that's what makes it critical to have the right amount of material on the inside of the opening. Okay, so options for you. You can take your Suburban out, you can move over to something like the Dometic. Let's have a quick look on the underside of this Dometic, Harrison. So we can see a slight difference in the, in the construction on the underside of this trailer, on the underside of this one, in comparison to the underside, underside of, of this one. We got this, so it's a little more securely mounted, and then you can see the inside of it there. So this is a nice, this is a, actually I must admit, this is a really nicely constructed product from the Medic, very nicely constructed product. And then the Eno, on the other side of the Eno, and it looks like that for anyone who's interested in, in looking on the underside. Now, of course, you know, when you disconnect the, the Suburban and you go to put on either the Dometic or the Eno, you need to follow the installation guidelines and whatever the code requirements or the requirements are within uh, your state or province with respect to removing and reinstalling the gas connections on your product. So I've got some decent pricing here for you. Harris is gonna pop that pricing up in the video, we'll also put links into the manuals and the installation instructions for these two units here. And the choice is yours. Okay, everybody, remember I'm Carl Escape and we're built for you.